Hi guys, uh, on today's video, we're looking at NASDAQ, German data and US data. So I'll be using like the Falcon strategy for us to analyze uh, these indices today. Since you all know, I trade like SMC at the moment, but I'll just analyze using like the Falcon strategy. So on the weekly time frame, we have the overall structure pushing to the downside. As you can see here, we had this higher high and then we had the lower low, lower high lower low lower high lower low and then we expect a lower high here to initially give us a lower low so throwing out the overall structures we have this descending channel like this whereby we haven't tapped like the 90 percent rule as of yet and then throwing it out like this and then you have the 90 percent rule at the top of the structure then you have the slow point whereby we had like that mass psychology activation previously and then we have the lower low here and then on the daily time frame we have a few areas that we can use and then what i'm thinking is that we can have like uh buys up until we hit like the 90 percent and then we can sell from the 90 percent like that but if we break structure around this area here of which we already have like that mass psychology activation happening around this point and then we have the highest high of which is this one here and then if we break this one around this point then we can have like the 90 percent being uh, retested but at the moment we are still looking for those selling opportunities at the top of the structure and then what i'll do is that i'll just remove this ray line here and then put another one around the lows of which is here and then we have another ascending channel of which is at the top of the structure leading us to that mass psychology activation that i was talking about on the weekly time frame just like this and then we have a few patterns that i can just draw out even though they are not important just because we are focusing on the current market structure at the moment just like this so looking at the four hour time frame we always check for momentum how the momentum of the market is moving and then so far we are moving very correctively and structurally at the moment of which it's okay that is what we want to see leading to the top of the structure of which it's around this point then we can look for those selling opportunities at the top of the structure so we have a pattern within here that we can cater for the middle section yeah and then after having the middle section, now we have like this ascending channel leading to the top of the structure for touch, just like this. And then what I'll do is that I'll just remove this ray line here and then focus on the one that has like more value just because you can have like the third touch happening at the top of the structure. Then we can sell off from there. And then let me just do this. And then on the lows, we have the 90%. And then we have the 90% of that uh, pattern within pattern of which is this one here. And then let me just remove these drawings and then leading us to the hour time frame. That is where we look for those nice entries. And then what I'm thinking on the hour time frame is that we can have like a short term buy whereby we rein this trend line out just like this. And then we have a larger sending channel that is going on here. And then we have some type of a descending channel of which it reacted nicely on the lows around this point here. So we have two touches at the bottom. And then let me just do this, make sure that everything is catered for. And after having like this descending channel, what we also have is the first type flag of which we can take like short term buys around this area here. As you can see already, it looks nice for us to take it just like this then you take your buy around here at the top of the structure a few pips above your stop loss can be just below and then initially what you're targeting for is for the third touch around this area here just because you have the first touch second touch then you can have like the third touch initially and then the overall outer structures also we have the first touch second touch third touch so initially this could be the right target that we can have for nasdaq short-term buys and then initially we look for those selling opportunities after hitting like the third touch then we can have like the risk entry 
or you can have like the uh low risk entry of which is the tight flag just like this and then you can take the risk entry at the top of the structure or the first tight flag just like this so initially this is what i'll be looking for on nasdaq and then this is at the top of the structure cells your stop loss can be just above and then you target the third touch the 90 percent of the smaller ascending channel and then the overall target would be around 14 percent and then if you're looking forward to taking the low risk entry of which is around here your stop loss can be just above and then your entry can be just a few pips below just like this and then if you're into larger flags then you can have like this movement going on and then initially what you do is that you take the entry on the third touch let's say you have like your first touch here your second touch for example and then the third touch would initially be around that area then that is where you take your entry at the top of the structure just like this your stop loss can be just above then you target the 90 percent of this a larger pattern and then the 90 percent of the ascending channel and then the overall target would be at the lows of it is like this for 12 percent and then what can initially happen is that instead of getting the third touch you get like the override of which it's like this let me draw it out which is like this instead of getting the third touch you get like the double top just like this at the top of the structure around this point here then you take your cell using a candlestick confirmation and then your stop loss can be just above the third touch first target second target 90 percent and then the third target would be here the overall target would be at the 90 percent also just like this so that is it for nasdaq and then looking at german 80 on the weekly time frame so on german 80 we have this uh, large push to the upside as you can see here we are creating lower highs and higher highs as you can see around here we have a large ascending channel and then we have the middle section of which is this one here and then after getting the middle section now we are currently pushing to the top of the structure of which is this one here and moving to the daily time frame that is where you'll get to understand each and everything so on the daily time frame what i'm seeing is that we can have like a, a touch whereby we reach this high here and then we push to the downside and then initially if that does not happen then what we can have is some selling opportunities just because we have been uh tapping uh pois or point of values moving to the upside and then creating like those mass psychology activations like around this point for example around this point also and this area here also we have we have created like a few patterns and then now we are at the top of the structure here and then as you can see at the top we have created some type of a double top so i'll just yeah. rain this out yeah. here and then after raining this out we have this ascending channel just like this and then this is the ascending channel that we have just like this So, so far we have this overall structure that is going on and then we are at a point of value and then we have the double top as our confirmation. Also the ascending channel is our confirmation. So initially we look for those selling opportunities up until the 90% or the overall structures, but I don't think we will break structure as of yet just because we have the third touch to complete around this point here around this area here so looking at the four hour time frame we check for momentum as always so what i'll do is that i'll just change the color for this one so that it can be visible so we have this area and then uh what i'm seeing is that we also have like some type of a triple top that is happening at the top of the structure just because we have this area this area this area here as our 
uh, point of value. And then on the four hour time frame, as I said, we check for momentum. And then so far we have momentum that uh, we can take to the downside just because it's very, very corrective leading to the top of the structure, just like this. We have some type of a, an ascending channel at the top of the structure. And then what I'll do is that I'll just use like a ray line just like that. Make sure that the trends are okay. And then on the hour time frame, that is where we look for those entries. And then initially, the first entry that I'll be looking for is a third touch at the top of the structure. Just because we, was, we are squeezing on the way to the upside. But let me try and just put it in a nice angle so that we get like uh, the most touches out of it. So this is the angle that I would like to use. Just like this. And then as you can see at the top, we have two touches. And this is the area that I'll be looking for those selling opportunities. Let me just do this. Do this. So initially, we are looking for those corrective moves. Just like this. Let's say we correct to the upside up until we reach this point here. And then let me just drain this out. Just like this. And then the risk entry would happen at the top. Just like that. Let me just reverse that. So initially, this is the risk entry that I'll be looking for, whereby we get like a candlestick confirmation, an override, or an evening star, whatever the candlestick formation that can happen at the top of the structure would be okay for us to take like selling opportunities. And then if this type of movement does not happen, then it means that we are going to kick uh the market to the upside up until we reach the third touch just because initially as i said we have two touches at the top of the structure this one here this one initially and then we have this as our third touch so we can take like selling opportunities at the top of the structure and then another entry uh criteria that i'm looking at is whereby we get the overall push to the downside and then we get the first tight flag of which this is a high probability setup for us to take and then this would be the larger flag at the amber zone and then we hit the overall target just like that and then this would be the first second entry that i'll be looking at or on my cards and then the entry would be in this type of fashion for example and then the target would be around this point the first tight flag or the first ascending channel in the structure and then the second entry would be around this point just because we aim to scale into more trades whereby if the trade goes in our favor we make sure that we scale in as much as we can and then this is the larger flag initially what happens is that you get the double top around there instead of the third touch so what we do is that we take the entry just below here. Stop loss can be just above. We target the lows just like this, for example. And then going to the lows, what we expect moving back to the four hour time frame is for the market to reach the overall, uh, 90% of which is this one here for about 53%. And then the second entry would be at around 21%. So initially, uh, taking a risk entry at the tight flag or on the amber zone would be a nice trade just because we are going to bank at around 53%. And then I think we are not going to break structure as of yet. So we can just put like our targets at around this point here. So 42% would be okay. So looking at you as 80 on the weekly time frame, let me just remove each and every thing. So on the weekly time frame, initially what we have, we have been pushing to the downside. We have been creating higher highs. We have this higher high here around this point. We have the, let me just remove that. We had this lower low here. And then we had the higher high, higher low. And then we expect a higher high just because we are pushing to the upside. And then we have a substructure that is going on around this point whereby we created this lower high lower low higher high higher low so what we expect is some buying opportunities and then we have this high point this low point here 
in form of that mass psychology activation, as you can see. And then we have this nice descending channel around this point, just like this. So what I'm initially thinking while I'm throwing like this overall structure is that we can initially push to the upside, correct, and then clearly push to the upside, hit the 90% before we can sell off or continue pushing to the upside. So let me just remove these. And then looking at the daily time frame, we can initially see that this is a continuation uh, flag or a continuation trade just because we came from a push to the upside. Now we are correcting and then we can initially to we can initially push back to the upside, complete like the overall move, hit the 90% and then everything will be okay. So this is the area. And then what I'll do is that I'll draw like the current market structures just to make a clear picture for the market. And then this is the descending channel that we have. But then this area here, just like that. And then looking at the lows on the daily time frame, you can see that we have a double bottom or a mass ecology activation on the higher time frame. And then just following structure, you'll see that we have this double bottom. And then it came a little bit to the downside of which this creates a an opportunity for us to take like entries. And then looking at this area here, we also have some type of a descending channel, just like this. And then after creating this descending channel, what you'll see is that we have the 90% on this area. And then we also have like the 90% for the larger flag of which is this one here. So initially selling buying opportunities are in, uh, in our favor and then this is the area whereby we have this impulse up and then we have the corrective move on the lower time frame to initially push to the upside so looking at the four hour time frame that is where we check for momentum obviously and then the momentum is okay as you can see around this point we created the descending channel in line with the daily time in line with the weekly time frame and the daily time frame and then we pushed to the upside just like this and then we have the corrective move whereby it's not that convincing just because we had a push to the downside initially around this point here you can just use like this as your reference and then we push to the upside and then we created we push to the downside and then we created some type of a corrective move around this point so what I'm initially thinking is that we can get like uh, selling opportunities instead of buys, just like this. Just because the momentum came from the upside and then went to the downside, created a tight flag here. And then initially we can expect selling opportunities up until like, let's look at the hour time frame. So on the hour time frame, this will be very, very clear. So we have this pattern going on. So this is the pattern that we have. And then as you can see here, we came from a push to the upside, then a push to the downside. And then the corrective move came up. Then we can look for those cells up until, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. So we can have like this as our sending channel just because it tapped that uh, POI that we look forward to seeing just because this is our POI. We can just box it up around this point and the POI has been tapped and then the mass psychology activation happened and then we sold off and then we created this larger flag to initially sell off. So what I'm thinking is that we can uh, tap the 90% or we can create some type of a larger flag whereby we just sell off up until we reach like this area here. Then we can initially look for uh, rebuying around this area here. So looking at the hour time frame, uh, what what we can do is that we can take a smaller or a confirmed entry whereby we get like a clear push to the downside. Then we get the first tight flag. Then this would give us like uh, an opportunity for us to take like those selling opportunities. But initially, if you are into uh, risk entries, you can just wait for a red candlestick to form up around this point here. 
a red candle stick to form up around this point this can be a nice override that you can use for yourself to take those selling opportunities and then your stop loss can be just above this point first target would be at the 90 percent of this pattern around this area and then the overall target would be at the 90 percent don't stretch it too much just use like the 90 percent as your target just like this and then yeah that is it for today's uh indices analysis and then i'll see you on another one hope you enjoyed this one and you can just drop a comment on which setup you're going to take for the coming week